What's up everybody, welcome to Today I Work On, and today I'm going to work on showing you how I install the bench next to a towel ready base system. I do not buy the towel ready bench system. I just think it's kind of weird. I think it's very limited on what I could do, and I like flexibility. I do not like to be restrained. So I will get into the tips and tricks on how I build this. This video will be over uh, like a few days because this many steps involved with doing this towel ready bench system without the towel ready bench system so today i'm going to just get going on framing out this bench system it's going to be around 14 inches wide by around 23 inches high give or take so that's my first step so let me start working on that all right step one if you see this tile ready base is tapered it's a tapered base, and they do that on the off-the-shelf bases. The custom bases have a flat, straight edge. Big difference. So remember, this I'm framing out, it's an off-the-shelf base. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a level line, basically. And I'm gonna, when I build my, when I, I'm gonna cut my two by four, and then I'm gonna level it off. So it comes out, remember, I don't know, can you see that? Let's see. Or level right there. So it's about the width of a carpenter's pencil, basically. It's not much. It's maybe like an eighth or a quarter of an inch, but you do need to move it out just a little bit because you don't want your wall to be cocked over. So it'll it'll be off level, and we don't want that. Um, so that's the first step. The second step is I am going to cut the 2 by 4 back about a half inch and why am I going to do that because when I put my backer board on here it's going to be even with this ledge so I do go and remember the same thing here this is freight it's not level see how off it is and that's level I go with the bottom because I will make this flat I'm not going to bevel I'm not going to have this tile angled, it'll be a, a level piece of tile. So that's why I, I'm gonna go with the bottom. So it'll be half inch from the floor, and that's basically right there. I'll remeasure it, but that's the first step. So let me cut the two by four, and then I could give you a better visual on this. So I built my first frame. I'm going to do two frames. Did like a little two degree bevel so I know we'll have the shower bench drain into the towel ready pan. And it's pretty straightforward, right? So what I want to do now is you're going to see when I level off this, the wall, see I have a little bit of gap there. And look how nice this frame is it's sitting right on top of the tile ready system which is exactly what you want so I'm gonna screw it in right there and then that and that's one wall done so all right so the bench is basically framed out as you can see here if you come down we have it's about 14 inches of total bench it's around 12 and a half inches now then you add two inches for back of board and tile. I will tile all of this. If you see right here, you have, I have a half inch and then it goes up to probably like 3 16 of an inch, which is fine because remember, I'm gonna make this vertical. I'm gonna make this level. Remember, tile ready has bevels on a lot of their, the bottom of their bases. So this does bevel out, but we're not gonna use the bevel. We're gonna keep this vertical so I could finish the tile going along here. So. That is a wrap for this first part of building the bench for the tile ready system. Once I start closing up, we will continue this episode. Right, it's a few days later, did a bunch of other things, like prepped all the uh, 
prep that bathroom. I, I added the second wall over here. Now the next step is installing your ready flashing. Now a lot of people have been commenting, well, not, well some people, that they're wondering if you silicone the back. Now I don't silicone anything on here except for the corners. I'll put a bead of silicone on the corners and I'm going to cut the flashing and kind of like overlap it like this or like that and then I silicone it and honestly there's really nothing else that I would do personally so I'm going to start working on this and then once I'm that's done I'm going to get into how I waterproof the bench area so let me start working on this. I went over this in the ready flash video that I have up. I'll put it up right now. But I just want to show you the back of the tile ready system. So again, if you look at the flashing, right, you can see you have all of this of the flash to protect the water from coming up. Water is not going to seep up through here. Water, remember, water goes with gravity. It goes down. It, it finds the lowest point. So this is why I love this system. It is completely enclosed. Now I have a special way I do my corners, I'll show you. I don't use the Schluter band because I don't like it. I feel like it's too fat. Um, I'll show you how I do that. I'm almost done doing all the drywall and the cement board. I just got a few more pieces to put up and then I'm gonna go over how I waterproof all of this. Uh, remember, most of this bench is already waterproofed with the tile ready flashing so that, that's flashings so I'm also you'll see what I'll, I'll do in a minute when it comes to uh actually waterproofing this whole area so uh, let me get working let me get working on finishing the drywall and I will go over all of this all right the bench is cement boarded up you can use your D-tray you can do it with whatever you want I don't care but just cover it up. Now, what's the next step? We need to start waterproofing. So step one with waterproofing, what I use, I use the straight flex system. It's for drywall, right? And you're like, what the heck is he doing? But it works. You know why? Because look, it's a solid piece of plastic. Do you see that? And it bends for corners inside and outside. So this is the medium. I usually get the original, but I'm gonna try the medium, why not? Uh, and I'm going to start cutting in all of the straight flex into the corners and then I'm going to mortar it in and then I'm going to tape all this with this. I'm going to mortar it in and then in the next couple of days I'm going to uh, throw some waterproofing membrane on all of this. So that is the next step concerning the towel ready bench and let me start working on that. Hey everybody, it's two days later and I'm going to start waterproofing the red guard this is my trusty little roller and then I need some red guard that's about it uh, I will show you the bench when it's done so let me just red guard this up it's gonna be stinky everyone knows it's stinky and uh, I usually hit it with like three coats and then I head out and um, let it dry so it's not so stinky and remember if you read the directions you have to wet the well, cement or whatever substrate you use, hardy back or whatever, before you put the red guard on it, you need some moisture behind it so it doesn't dry out and flake off. I've never had an issue with red guard, uh, so I use it. I use what's work. I use what works, right? Uh, I know there's newer products. I know there's a bunch of different products out there, but this is this works for me. So that is uh, the next step. So let me start red guarding this.
Well, would you look at that? We have a top ready base. That's just the regular base. Remember, this is just the base for an alcove that has three sides and a front curb. And then I built the custom knee wall bench, AKA bench, however I wanted. And then I waterproofed it with tile ready flashing, my flex tape, which is called, anyways, it's called the straight flex. It's called straight flex. I don't know, flex tape, straight flex. Use straight flex and then right guard it everything. Now, for your substrate and your waterproofing, you can use whatever you want. To me, this works. It's the least expensive and I don't, you can use whatever you want, but this is basically how you set up a tile ready base for a bench without using the tile ready bench system. Now, I love tile ready, but again, I think their bench is a little weird. I don't, I don't get it. it looked, to me, it looks like it'll break easily. I don't know. Anyway, uh, next up, we're going to do tile and I will show you how it's going to look after the tile. I'll take some shots of me tiling. Uh, and I'll give you some tips on how I do my tile, depending on what, what kind of tile I buy. I mean, most popular tile right now is 12 by 24s. It's been popular for the past 10 years, give or take. And I'll show you like how I set up my benches and my lines and everything. So let me start working on that. This is like my seventh take. I'm sure you don't care, but I'm having technical difficulties. So anyway. I am basically done tiling. I'm gonna show you how it all looks right now. Uh, it's basically, to me, it's a foolproof system. I think it works really well. Uh, and again, this is using a tile-ready base with a three-wall system, like with an alcove, but I'm making my bench custom. I'm not, I'm not using the tile-ready bench system because I feel like you're, you're limited with the bench system. Because, for example, if you could see, I'll show you, the tile, I have two tile, and then boom. So it's a nice clean break. So I was able to measure that out, do what I wanted to do. The tile is done, it looks great. And this is how you do it. So I figured YouTube would want to see how you build a bench with a regular tile ready base. So this is it. Um, well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you like, if you have any questions with this episode, please ask in the comments. If you like this episode, please like it. And if you want to see more Tile Ready content, please subscribe. I'm also going to do a wrap-up video on what this bathroom looked like before and after. And also, if you want me to start documenting my bathroom and remodels, I used to do it. I stopped doing it, but I'm seeing more and more people are watching them. So I could also start doing them again. Um, let me know in the comments. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.